Hey there, everybody. This is G-Bub here. How y'all doing? We need to get some repair work done to our truck before we can go any further in the Idaho potato hauling thing here. So let's get her cranked up and, and let's go take a look out here and see where the nearest repair job is. Okay, it's right down the street. Just a little ways down here. It's probably, a, if I remember right, probably a dealership. Route. I think that's what. Over here on the Please American side. To highlighted route. Over here on the American side, that's what it is. So let's get on past past Peanut's parking job there where he left his left his yard dog halfway out in my out on the thing. In 200 yards. Turn left. Ask that other driver. Turn left. We can't figure out how to park that damn truck without taking, blocking up all the delivery bays over there. And let's get on out of here and see about turning left. I hope y'all having a good one. Like I said, let's get fixed up so we can get back on the road and get some more of this Idaho potato hauling In stuff done. 200 yards, turn left. I tell you what, turn left. heading towards city center. I tell you what, it was confusing me. I was driving up here and seeing that thing and on the little GPS, it's like, oh, look at there, we're gonna go into a roundabout. Then I remember I wasn't over there in Disney Europe and that ain't a roundabout. That's just a intersection where you got, where you got uh, two of the roads cut off with those big yellow flashy, you know, do not enter thingies. You know, the two roads aren't real there. And it's instead of being roundabout, I forgot where I was. I'm in America, land of the free and the home of the traffic lights. And Lord, don't we have a lot of them. All right, let's see if we can come on down here and get a little repair work done. Keep right, then turn right. Hopefully get a little sleep too while we're at it. Let's see. Dream drink. Established. I couldn't see. Turn right. I'll have to take a look whenever we get into whenever we get into to editing. That's one thing about it, you know, it's like the beast here, the beast is now six years old. Keep right. And I was talking about when I was doing the, the arrow when I was doing the Microsoft flight. Talking about Microsoft, I got I got Microsoft Flight now, the new Microsoft Flight, and it's the first program I got that I want to play that this beast won't run it without a problem. You know, it, it yeah, I have to turn everything down all the way to low in it. So you know, eventually it may be time to get the beast too. And when I get the beast too, I'll throw a 4K card in it and get me a big old brand new 4K TV to watch it on and all that kind of stuff. But that ain't gonna be anytime soon. So in the meantime, we'll just have to read these little signs like that and edit them because the writing's just a little too small to catch it when you're driving past it. Guy got his boom box. Yeah, he is. Is he kicking down some beats for the fireman there? I think he might be. There's a fire truck there, too. I'm going to have to see what it is. There's a fireman standing around. I couldn't see if he was dancing or whatever. We'll have to take a peek at that again sometime see just what the heck that was. You have arrived. Mac. All righty. So it's a Mac dealership. I was wondering about that, what kind of dealership it was going to be. We've actually been here before, you know, so we didn't pick it up. And I bet, I think we've actually bought trucks from here before. Because you know the road's yellow, so we've been here. I think one of my drivers, I think one of the people in my trucking empire's got a Mack truck. I'm pretty sure about that. Let's head on back here and let's hit the, let's hit the service bay. And then we're going to go on in and... Assuming we can hit the service bay, not the service bay, the icon. Let's not just hit the actual service bay. Good Lord knows we hit too many things as it is. But we're going to go in. Let's do some repair work. All right. What's our service? Our service, let's see. We got two and one and two and two and seven. Yep, there's our big damage, seven. Where we hitting those curbs and all and putting a bunch of damage on our tires. Whoa, that's a lot of money, but... With the co-insurance, we only pay 2%. We pay $200. That right there shows you. I, I, they got to be taking some money out of the paychecks you make or something. Because there ain't no way that... Because over there, if I was playing in Disney Europe, we'd be paying a, over $2,000 charge, you know, right there. But instead of that $200. So they have to be taking some money out of what they pay us for deliveries to make up for that. Because that's just the way it goes over here. We get, yeah, we got insurance and stuff, but we have to pay for it every month. Alrighty, I got a couple other things I want to do here on the truck, so I will see y'all on the flip side. 
All right, we're back, and just in time, watch that train go by over there. Wasn't that sweet? That was really nice. Uh, let's see what we got. Yep, we got a blue bed, so we're going to have to see if we can, can find a place to sleep. They usually let you sleep here. In fact, I bet if we pull into those long drives up there, I bet those long parking spaces up there, the trucks, I guarantee if we pull up in one of them, it's going to let us sleep. Of course, make the daytime go away, but what you going to do? In the meantime, I want to just show y'all what I done to the truck. I put on a Valentine thing with lots of hearts on it. It's called the Heartbreaker Paint Job, and put your name here. And if we were going to put a name there, it would be Bubba. Yes, indeed, it would be old Mr. Aloysius Cumberbatch, the Esquire the Third himself, Bubba, my brother from another mother over there living on the other side of the ocean because today's his birthday. So we were just wanting to say that. And in honor of the occasion, we were wanting to say, Happy, happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday! Indeed, Bubba, I hope you're having a good one. I hope you and your wife are are having a very good special day for you today, and I hope you've got some nice gifts, some nice puzzles, and anything else that you happen to be into over there. I just hope you have a good time, and know that you're missed over here, and that we've got a, we've got a lot of stuff, uh, got a lot of wishes for, for a happy birthday for you, and, and hope you're having a good one. And we miss you. Hope to see you again soon. And so there you go. Happy birthday. And we're going to drive around with all this heartbreaker and all the hearts and all on our truck to show our love for our other brother over there. So you have yourself a good one. And we're going to get back to driving potatoes. <laughs>